so many of my classmates and others that were in school with us talk about you, Brother Francis, mm -hmm. differently than they talk about the other brothers and how the relationship with you is so much more intense, that it's so much more emotional, so much more mm -hmm. personal. And I used to think that I was the only guy in the school that had problems. You know, that, you know I've learned about, uh, since leaving the school, finding out about uh, how it was used to help people that had problems and maybe didn't want to go there mm -hmm. and for discipline reasons, etc. We, the class of 66, wish to express our sincere thanks to Brother Francis, without whose guidance and instruction we would not have attained all that we have in these four short years. We shall carry the ideals and determination which you have instilled in us wherever we go. To you, Brother Francis, our lasting esteem and respect to a man truly get dedicated to the development of you. Yeah, thank you. And thank you. I will have to say how your life is lived today, and I speak for myself, is predicated on your early learning, not only to be a good student, to be a good human being. Uh, do you feel, did you, did you feel that as you were going through those years, how <laughs> these young teenagers yeah. who were looking for a, yeah. a second chance, yeah. like many of us yeah. were, uh, yeah. were so dependent on you emotionally? Well, I think what happened I was in administration from 1960 until 2011. So I was in administration 50 years. Now, I also think, though, that there's a kind of an advantage when you're in administration because you're in a position where you can make a difference. You know, if somebody, for example, is not relating with a teacher, the headmaster can do something about it. Or if a student runs away from home, the headmaster can do something about it. Somebody, if you're just, a, if you're a teacher, it's not really your decision. So I think because I was an administrator so many years, I was in a position that if I thought this was the right thing to do, I could do it. It was not always a unanimous decision. You know, at times somebody said, I really think you should not take this young man again or somebody else. you're talking to me now. <laughs> after my third runaway, <laughs> you no, told me that nobody was ever allowed to stay in the school after running away three times. But, you know, I also thought that, you, you know, first of all, you had lost your dad. That was one, one of the, so that was a factor that was, you know, there, if you're a headmaster, you can at least say, what are the reasons why we should say yes, or what are the reasons why we should say no? If you're a teacher, you may say the same thing, but you can't take the decision. Delete this, please. This is going on national TV. This I can't have any part of this. This is when Bill smoked, all right? Okay. And Bill smoked more than anyone else. You see, it's done at this group. And I never it's bought them either. Uh, <laughs> 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 never bought them. <laughs> 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 I smoked. I smoked OPBs, other people's <laughs> brands. <laughs> I was basically <laughs> lucky strikes. <laughs> 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 so we were in Johnson Hall. We had the best room in the whole school. Over, and I picked that out. Overlooking the... Uh, over the... Depends oh. what time of year it was. Yeah, yeah, overlooking, overlooking the hockey, hockey rink. rink. Yeah. And yeah. uh, Foley used to get up at, what time we get up? 5.30, 6 o'clock? Yeah, right. most of If we had to go to Mass, we'd get up a little bit early. Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, chapel. So, uh, right, Brother Foley, Francis? Foley had a Victrola. And that didn't go on? Tin sound Victrola. <laughs> and one album. Oh, and no. It was the Rolling Stones. <laughs> and he would get up in the morning, light up his cigarette, and play. I ain't got no, no satisfaction. satisfaction. And I still try. <laughs> <laughs> at the top of it, then we go right outside the room and we'd be at the sinks. At no, the sinks, yeah. So it'd be Guitari, Campbell, we all had our positions. To be yeah, yeah, yeah. Four sinks. Guitari was on the end, Campbell, and I was down on this end. And Foley would come by and whoop! 
Drop How are you, Drake? <laughs> Drop everybody's drawers. <laughs> Good morning, fellas. Good well, morning. Atari used to shave eight times a day. And he, was only, like, he had a, a morning shadow, an afternoon shadow, and an in-between shadow. You ever seen that? That's a good picture of Robert Raymond. Yeah, in my younger days. Raymond was the principal when I got there in 1960. And uh, he was very generous. Bernie is 97 now See, and he's wow. in a nursing home. He's 97. They, now he really needs help. But he's still alert. Uh, he was, after he left the Mount, he went to Waltz and he taught German, taught Spanish, taught French, taught English. You know, he was, he was really a... He was an artist too. He was artist and he had beautiful singer, wonderful voice. We play the opera every Saturday. Ah, five pages. <laughs> yes. Brother Eugene, you remember this guy? Yep. This guy right there, so. He, 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 he was the head prefect, right? He was, yeah. he was yes. the headless prefect. <laughs> or the You're going to be prefect. perfect, or you'll see the prefect. Uh, uh, <laughs> he drove me home though when my dad died. I was with him. Yeah, we went yeah, together. Well, really, I wasn't yeah. glad. Yeah. yeah. And then Brother Florian. And what do you what was, do you call him? What what, what do you call him? Mousy. Mousy. <laughs> it's because the way he was eating, you know, he had he was in, you know pursing his lips. Hey, what's this guy's nickname? Futter. <laughs> <laughs> How many hours did this brother spend in the pool room? Oh, my brother. Cushions on the cushion, sir. Cushions on the cushion. <laughs> the brain, sir. The brain. <laughs> Remember that? Remember the golden rule. That's right. Remember the golden rule. He has the golden rules? Yeah. Wow. A T K T A T K A T A S D F. And then. Curly, you remember Curly? Because yeah. yeah. he was bald headed. He was, yeah. he was Curly. Curly. Buddy Gilbert, Gilbert, athletic director. I don't remember his nickname. Gil. Oh, here's Bruno right here. Yeah. <laughs> the young Bruno. Yeah, yeah. Louis was his real name, right? Louis, yeah. Yeah, Louis. Yeah, Louis. 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 Louis, yeah, either one. Oh, that's... Oh, God, he was good. Oh, Brother he, Donald. Donald. Yeah. Brother, Brother Donald. Donald. Oh, he was a sweet man. Yeah, Donald was a wonderful man. He was a... That's, Roland was a nice guy. Donald was in charge of the infirmary. Yeah. yeah. Dr. Donald. Yeah. Brother. Tony Booth. No, what is it? Yeah, here's Tony Booth. He was. A, this was a nice guy too. Tell me about Brother Roger in the uh, Victorian house that the Duquettes lived in. What was Mrs. Duquette? <laughs> she was uh, uh, about the. She was like you said in Cougar Town. She, but she was <laughs> way ahead of her time, you know, because the father was the sheriff. Right? Her, uh, her husband. Her husband. What did yeah. I say, her father? Yeah, well, no, her husband. As much as he was home, it could have been a father. I don't know. <laughs> My sister came to visit once and she saw Roger. She says, What a waste of talent. <laughs> <laughs> What a waste of talent. There's Brother Marcel. We just saw him. He's outside. Yeah. Brother yeah. Bernard. Brother Bernard, sir. Oh, God. Wow. The brains, sir. The brains. <laughs> Get your cushions off the cushions. <laughs> wow. Brother Bernard. Oh. Now, Tony. Well, she was very, you know, she was very helpful to uh, scholarship uh, right. students. Andy. Uh, Tony's gonna to write a check for ten thousand, and you're gonna be in row F. <laughs> and if you play your cards right, we'll move you up to the front. Give us another check, please. <laughs> I'm sorry, you can't. You can't buy those. And Foley, you're behind tree number seven by the football field, right over there. It's a goal post. <laughs> no, you're in back. You're in back of the cross you, over there. Yeah, you got drop kick behind the cross. That's all right. Well, sooner or later. We'll get you to the front of the group. <laughs> you remember Brother Charles? Yes, I do. Okay, well, a number of times uh, when he was, the, he was the prefect and, and I was a teacher, we had some run-ins. <laughs> I can imagine. But we couldn't, but I couldn't really do any, I mean, I... You remember his nickname? Charlie. Something about his arm? Dead arm Charlie. Dead arm, dead arm Charlie. <laughs> 
Who, well, you, who you could duck when he'd swing at you, you could duck and he'd hit the wall and never know the difference. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I was really, you know, we had a couple of run-ins. Now, we always try to do that away from the students so that they don't know that there's some kind of tension between the faculty. In the know, sense, students, we knew, I mean, we knew. Oh, you knew we, that? We didn't know that, but we knew who the... Yeah the oh, yeah. more elevated ones okay. were. Yeah. You know, I want to tell you, I uh, recently talked to one of your students who, uh, you weren't always a softy, I mean, in the sense that you always looked out and took the student's mm -hmm. position, but you were pretty firm. Yeah. There's a student who told me you wrote in his yearbook. Well, I want to tell you something that had an effect on me, and I want you to read this, what you put <laughs> in my yearbook. <laughs> Should I read it? No, no. <laughs> yes. Success is 1% inspiration and 99% perspiration. <laughs> Tony, you're operated on three cylinders. Operate up and you'll be on five, use your five cylinders. <laughs> well, do you see that? Now, when I thought that I couldn't do that during the last 50 years, sometimes I would look at your, <laughs> your kind words and say, I can do this. I can do this. So Good. Inspired. You inspired me. Very good. God bless you. But you encouraged some of us who, in a way, to save us for a different way of giving us an opportunity to go to the school. Do you remember Mount Assumption giving us the talk on priorities in life? Well, I probably did. I, I usually give some, priority, some talk on priorities when I'm teaching. That stuck with me for yeah. 50 years. 50 years. 